What's going on, it's Ben here from Bunny Media, and today in this video, we're gonna walk through tips, strategies, and tactics that are currently working on Instagram to help you grow your Instagram business account to bring in more followers and more customers through Instagram. So we're gonna walk through strategies that are currently working that you can implement to help grow your account organically completely for free through leveraging current strategies and as well as content strategy to help grow on Instagram and grow your business. And at the end of this video, we threw an additional pro tip specific to businesses on Instagram to really build loyal and recurring customers through leveraging an underutilized feature on Instagram that we feel far too many people, especially businesses, are sleeping on and that you can take advantage of through using and executing successfully to get some very, very loyal customers that not only love your content on Instagram, but also love your business. So let's get right into it. And let's grow your account. So this is the second video in an Instagram for business series. So if you did miss the first one, that was setting up the account and optimizing it for success from the beginning. So if you did miss that, no worries, it's linked in the card above. Go ahead and check that out and then come back here and watch this because this whole video is geared towards growing the account once we've set it up and converted it to a business account. So growing on Instagram is substantially more difficult than it once was. Previously, let's say six, seven years ago, you could just post out content and you would grow because that's typically how social media platforms start off and then it becomes more and more difficult to grow and there's just more competition out there fighting for attention. So now we have to be a lot more strategic and thoughtful with our time and presence on Instagram to grow and that's what we're gonna help you with right here. But luckily, as a brand new Instagram business account, there are a ton of other competitors out there who have already done a lot of research and effort for you to build their own audiences. And that's why I recommend starting off to kind of poach their audience because you know that these people are high value people who are interested in this kind of content and your kind of business. So this is super valuable for you specifically. And I'll walk through how you can actually find these people and who you wanna target because you wanna be very strategic with your actions on Instagram because if you do use Instagram too much or you perform too many actions too fast, you can get hit with an action block, which can really hurt your account. So we're gonna walk through how you can do all of your actions to grow in a far more strategic way. So let's hop into the account that I made for this, this whole series, which is Benjo's Pub, which is a hypothetical pub here in Jacksonville Beach, Florida. Like I said, you can only do so many actions, especially as a new account. So I would keep this slow. I would try to keep your actions between 20 and 50 follows per day. But what we're gonna do here to start getting some growth and some traction is ideally you wanna have some content out there because it's gonna improve the likelihood of people following you back. So the first step in this, I would recommend posting out nine pieces of content that fits your brand, your aesthetic, and what you offer as a business. I wouldn't stress too, too much about these first nine posts because not a lot of people are going to see them, but you do wanna make sure to have some content out there because the future strategies we're gonna cover in this video is driving traffic to your profile. And if they come across and they think it's a spam or a bot account, they're far less likely to follow. So by having that nine piece of content, it shows that you're active, it shows that you're real, and it's gonna really increase the likelihood that you actually do get those follows. In addition to the steps that we walked through in the previous video about optimizing your bio and your page and all those other things that really do matter when it comes to converting people over. But now let's get into the strategy of actually bringing some of these targeted people to your account. So like I said, there's already, your competitors are already on Instagram likely and they've built audiences and they have people that engage with their content consistently. So we're gonna leverage that. Knowing that I'm a bar in Jacksonville Beach, I'm gonna go look for bars in Jacksonville Beach because that is my exact clientele. So we're gonna go to Surfer and go to their content. So here they have 17.5 thousand followers and they're following 3,571. But where you wanna find their high value people is not even in their following list because, or their followers list because there's a lot of people on there who aren't actually active, they're not engaged. Plus a lot of businesses are known for doing very shady tactics like buying followers and all that stuff. So a lot of their following might not be actually engaging. I'm not saying Surfer did that, I'm just saying a lot of people do that, a lot of, especially a lot of businesses in the past have been buying followers. So how we're gonna attract people that are currently using Instagram that are very loyal and engaged in this kind of content is by going through who's actually interacting with their content. So we're gonna go through a photo like this. And why I would pick a photo like this is because this obviously, like an attractive girl is gonna get more likes than say, these, so obviously the, and this is proof of that. <laughs> Look, the attractive girl has 188 likes versus this has 24 likes. So by coming to posts like this, if you go through and start following these people, these are really loyal people to this bar or this kind of content. So you now know that they will follow pages like this. Not only will they follow pages like this, they will like and interact with their content, which is gold for you. So I'd make a habit when you start a brand new account to start building some intrigue and some traction is to actually go to these accounts and say, let's go to Megan's account. And then in here, I would follow them and then also leave some comments on their content or like a few posts. What we're trying to do here is to drive traffic over to your page. And so naturally, once you do that, 
go through and do about, let's say 20 people per day. Don't go too crazy. Make this authentic and make it real. But all these people are super high value for you and your business because they're far more likely than the average person to follow your account. And we only want to attract followers that are actually going to interact with our content and potentially be customers. And by Surfer doing this research basically for us, we know that the people that interact with their content are far more likely just on a, like a number standpoint to come in and interact with our content and actually like our content. Plus, we now know that they're interested in this kind of bar, like they're interested in a bar, meaning that they're far more likely to actually come in and buy from us, which is this whole point. So I'd recommend going through your competitors, ideally locally, if you are a local business, because all their followers or most of them can come and be a customer, especially people who are interacting with their content because they're highly motivated and they're on Instagram and still current and active, which we want. So start there, go through a few competitors and do 20 to 50 people per day. Go look through a piece of content, especially one like this. Go through, see who's interacted with it. Comments are even better, but go through who liked it if no one commented. Go through their profile, follow them, like a few pieces of their content, and some of them will convert and follow over to you. Only do about 20 to 50 of these per day, and you wanna make these authentic. We're looking to build relationships here. We're not just looking to spam people, okay? We actually want people that can come and follow us, and we'll support them back and forth, and that's how we're gonna build our initial clientele through Instagram, okay? So 20 to 50 of these highly targeted people per day, leveraging the existing loyal audience of your competitors that are already out there. They've already done this work for us. We're gonna take advantage of it. The next tip is to make sure to be consistent on Instagram. That comes with your story presence as well as your content. Instagram rewards consistency. So the more consistent you can be with content posting, the better it's going to be. So I recommend ideally for anybody who's using Instagram to stick to a schedule that is maintainable for them. So if you can only post once a week and that's all you can realistically do, I would definitely try to challenge you to do a little more than that, but stick with consistency. So if that's one a day, amazing, but there's no such thing as too much content, especially on Instagram, because we're only targeting people who are our ideal follower. So they're not gonna get fatigued by our content because they actually want this stuff. Because, and if they do get fatigued by our content, they're not our ideal follower and if they leave, that's not a huge deal. We only want people who are highly concentrated and interested in our content. So make sure to show up consistently on Instagram and experiment with different kinds of content and then use the insights that Instagram provides you as a business or a creator account to see what really works versus what doesn't in terms of content that you're posting out there. So see if certain types of content gets more reach, more impressions. Also see how they're performing in terms of the things that you want people to do. So if you wanna convert profile visitors, make sure to check in on how that metric is performing with each kind of post, as well as the associated caption that you provide with that content to really see that if you're achieving the goal that you're trying to achieve through each piece of content. So the more methodical you can be with the content you're putting out there and the goals behind it, the more success you're gonna see from Instagram. But it's very important to be consistent and show up consistently. So set a goal for yourself of consistent posting frequency on stories as well as in main feed content and stick to that as much as you can and try to get that number as high as you possibly can without driving yourself crazy and without compromising on quality of content. And in addition to being active, be consistent with your use of hashtags. So hashtags are a great way that Instagram uses to determine what kind of content is what kind of content and who actually wants it. So spend a bit of time using hashtags on every single post and make custom groups of tags for every piece of content because you do want it to be highly relevant and specified to that piece of content. They recently came out and said that a list of three to five hashtags works better, is what they said, but we have not seen that here at Bunny Media or any of the accounts that we've worked with. So I recommend by going for between 10 and 30 hashtags every single time and experiment with different groupings of tags as well as sizes and keep track of how it's actually performing because you can actually see within Instagram the amount of impressions that are coming from the hashtags that you use on specific content. So continue to experiment much like with different kinds of content, experiment with different kinds of hashtags that are all hyper relevant to your business, your location and other specific things to the content itself to attract more of those ideal customers and followers that we've talked about throughout this video. So the first tip in this video is really taking advantage of what Instagram allows you to do with your actions. And that's gonna be very important, especially as you're a new page, because you have no existing audience to really leverage off of. And it's very much an authority driven platform, Instagram, meaning you need to get some followers to then attract more followers, which is really difficult to do, but it's just the nature of the current platform in its current state. But one thing you can do to really take advantage of this and actually try to get past this initial hump is to start leveraging Instagram Reels. So Instagram Reels is their latest feature on Instagram and it's vertical video, a lot like TikTok. So since TikTok blew up and it was a very popular platform, Instagram wants to capture some of that attention, so they're rolling out Reels. So they're giving favorable treatment to Reels. So if you post Reels content, it has a far higher likelihood of getting exposed to new people. So definitely take advantage of this and try to be posting as many Reels as possible, included in your consistent posting frequency 
on Instagram. Reels are the biggest opportunity for growth and attracting new people right now. So it's a massive opportunity for smaller accounts, especially since they don't have the initial momentum that makes growth from hashtags and then as well as the export page, easier to do once you have a more established page with an established audience. So definitely be posting reels as much as possible. And in addition to having this vertical video content, the huge benefit of this is that you can also post it over on TikTok as well. So that'd be our next tip right here is to actually have a TikTok account as well and link it to your Instagram. Currently, TikTok's just a younger platform, meaning there's more organic reach that is far easier to come by even for brand new pages. It's just way easier to get views and likes and impressions over there. And you can build an audience far faster on TikTok. I would argue that an Instagram following is far more invested in your content and you have more touch points with them. But as a top of funnel approach to bringing in more Instagram followers, we recommend that you make a TikTok account right away and connect it to your Instagram account and start posting both of these videos. So the videos that you're making for vertical video on Instagram Reels, also post them on TikTok because you've already got the asset. Why not use it on both and take advantage of the benefits of TikTok and then convert them over to your Instagram as well. So the next question is probably, okay, so what do I post for my business? Maybe your business isn't a super sexy business with a ton of content ideas. Ideas. What I would say is to really understand more who you're trying to target, okay? So who are these people? What do they care about? And how can you create content that they'll actually care about? Because if they resonate with the content, they're far more likely to engage, they're far more likely to share it with people and interact with it, which helps you out tremendously. So where so many businesses go wrong is they just constantly post out sales content, which is just like a picture of their products, just endlessly, endlessly, endlessly. And they're wondering why they're not getting followers or growth. You have to think about it logically. What's in it for the person who's following you? What is the benefit to them for following your content and interacting with it? There has to be some sort of exchange of value. So it's better to understand who you're trying to target. So for my example of the bar, I'd be far better served posting like memes about the area or memes about going out, things that resonate with the people that would come and buy from me because they're far more likely to connect with it, to share it with people and interact with it as well. So definitely have a mix of sales content, but if you're looking to grow, there has to be some value provided to your ideal group of people. So for me, it is bar goers in Jacksonville Beach. That's a very powerful tool for me because I can speak directly to that person and the content doesn't even need to be directly about my business because we want to attract new people. So having a funny meme or a reference to the area and the, the nightlife in the area is gonna do way better than just a picture of our bar saying, come get cheaper drinks, right? So having a mix of these two and understanding that there is strategy from sales content as well as content to help grow the page and having a mix of the two, but it really comes down to having great and clever content. And that really comes down to understanding who you're trying to target, what they care about, what do they find funny? What would they benefit from? Think about it like that, what's in it for them and try to provide that through as much of your content as possible because that's gonna be content that brings in growth and followers and shares, and then also mix in some sales content because naturally this is a sales tool and you do wanna communicate with your customers so they can come in and buy from you. But that is probably the most slept on thing when it comes to businesses and businesses on Instagram specifically, is just the lack of creativity and understanding who they're trying to target and providing value for them and asking themselves that question, what's in it for my customer? What's in it for my follower? If you focus on that through your content, you're gonna do substantially better. And there are tons of other brands and businesses out there that are getting very creative. So I definitely recommend spending some time going to look at other brands and businesses in your niche or outside of it to get inspiration as to what kind of content is really working. The next tip is one that should sound pretty straightforward, but not many people do it because they just think it's weird. And that's to make social media, which Instagram is a social media, actually social. So don't be afraid to start the conversation as a new business page. Don't be afraid to comment on someone's post if you think they may be interested in your content. Do so in an authentic way, but like we said in the very beginning of this, your actions are powerful to drive people over to your profile. And people can't follow an account or buy from you unless they know that your account and business exists. So your actions are a great way to start facilitating some of that and build true genuine relationships. Plus on Instagram, a lot of people don't have many followers and they don't have many people interacting with their content. So simply you liking or leaving a genuine comment is very likely going to lead to a profile visitor to your business, which you're getting completely free from leaving a little comment. So I've found a lot of people have great success with this by building out a brand voice for the Instagram page and using that to communicate with people that they come across on Instagram that could potentially be customers, building true genuine relationships through interacting with their content. And then through that, driving that person over to their profile, which can eventually convert into a follower and a long-term customer because you started the conversation. So it's not weird unless you make it weird. So don't overthink it. The worst case scenario is they don't follow you. But at the very least, they're very likely going to see that. It's gonna at least start a conversation, whether it be in person or they're gonna come and visit your profile. All good things that are happening completely for free to you. And if you do so in a targeted and a strategic way, like we mentioned in the beginning of this video, and also do it in a way that's not spammy, 
it's all good things for your business, so it's well worth doing. But remember, don't go crazy with actions because you do not wanna get hit with an action block. So do this thoughtfully, strategically, and in an organic and real way, and it will do way more for you. Be patient, take, take the long-term approach here, and build solid relationships. They're gonna be far more likely to follow you, and they're gonna be far more likely to stick around and buy from you as well. But the main tip here is just don't be afraid to start the conversation, whether that's in the comment section of someone that you've deemed to be your ideal follower, leaving a genuine and thoughtful comment there, or even in people's DMs too. Don't be afraid to start the conversation. Obviously not everyone will be receptive to it, but you will be surprised how many people actually are and how many customers you can build this way through being genuine and authentic and putting yourself out there. So make this part of your consistent routine, much like posting content consistently, spend some time actually outreaching to your potential customers and do so in a strategic way. You're gonna get so much from it, especially when you do it authentically. So that pro tip that I teased in the beginning is coming up very soon, but there is one thing I wanted to mention beforehand, and that is the opportunity to leverage boosted posts or campaigns or ads on Instagram through your Instagram account, as well as through Facebook Ads Manager. It's something that you can definitely do to target people on a very specific level in your area, as well as based on their interests. And this is something that you can do, and we will have future tutorials coming out very soon on how to run effective Instagram campaigns. But for this video, we're focusing on specifically organic free strategies to implement. But if you are looking to run paid ads, still a very powerful tool. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that future tutorial coming out in the next few weeks. Now for that pro tip that you've been waiting for, this is the use of the close friends story feature on Instagram. So naturally, I'm very confident you know what an Instagram story is, but Instagram recently in the past year or two, maybe a little bit longer, released a feature called close friends. So you can add a selective group of people to your close friends story. And as a business, this is a great opportunity to provide some loyalty incentives. So you can have private access to stories through people that ask to be a part of it. And because it's more exclusive, any sort of promotion or opportunity that you give to these people, they're gonna feel far more connected to you because they feel like they're part of an exclusive group. So this is a great way to incentivize and reward your loyal users of Instagram and your followers and your customers to give them access to this close friends group. It can be something that you give away for free. It can be something that you give away through incentives or raffles or whatever, but it's a great way to get very creative and create more of an exclusive community within your larger community of Instagram. So these are gonna be your premier people that really care about you, that really care about your product, your service, your business, and give them an opportunity to be rewarded. It's gonna create a ton of loyalty and connection to your Instagram page meaning they're far more likely to engage with all your content and also to come and buy from you because they feel like they're appreciated through being part of this exclusive group. So definitely take the time to be strategic with your close friends and use that as a tool to really deepen relationships because at the end of the day, I know Instagram seems like just this very faceless thing, but the more you make it human and more personal, the more success you're gonna get from it, especially as a local business. And we feel the close friends group and the opportunity that provides is one of the most slept on tools that you could be using as an Instagram business owner to get a ton more benefit and to build some real loyal customers. So all these tips will help you grow your account completely for free and organically. If you do want more tips like this, be sure to let us know by smashing the like button and also commenting down below saying you do want more. And also the next video in this series, like I teased earlier, will be all about running paid ads on Instagram to help sell as well as attract more followers. So if you're looking to see that, you don't wanna miss it, I promise you, be sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell button so that you're notified when it does come out. It will be out in the next few weeks and it will help you run campaigns far more effectively to get far more from it and save a ton of money in terms of doing things the right way to get actually return on your investment which a lot of people don't do. So you're gonna to wanna to see that tutorial and be sure to rewatch this video if anything was confusing so you can put a consistent strategy together for your Instagram business account to get growing organically and then later when the paid video comes out through paid ads as well if you did want to do that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel while you're here because we at Bunny Media wanna help you market your business better online and we release free content every single week to help you do that. So be sure to subscribe. And if you feel like you have a good grasp on this whole Instagram thing and you wanna try out other social media platforms, you're gonna to need to watch this video right here where I walk through all of the best platforms that you could be posting on and outline the pros and cons to help you make the best decision as to where to show up for your business and where maybe you want to avoid. So go ahead and click that video. I'll see you over there. Let's keep the conversation going. Peace.